What's up? Good morning. Day 632. No, I'm just joking. Um, so, woke up this morning just outside Manitoba. Just right on the border between Manitoba and Ontario. Currently in Winnipeg. Just outside Winnipeg. Or around Winnipeg. I don't know. I don't know exactly where. It's near it. Let's just say that. Um, on my way through. Uh, nothing really spectacular come up, so yeah, not much to talk about today. But uh, yeah, if anything happens, I'll let you guys know. But yeah, I, I don't know what else to really talk about. I feel like I'm just like saying the same shit over and over again. But yeah, nothing spectacular. Maybe I'll do some more like driving montages. Finally made it to Calgary. Um, as you see, it's been quite an interesting journey. But I've been here for about a day now. Just been sitting around in my truck at a truck stop. Nothing been going on. Just did laundry, showered. That's about it. Um, heading out tomorrow. Got to pick up around nine o'clock, and then I got to go to another pickup somewhere else in town. So that uh, I'll, I'll be bringing you guys along for that part. Hope you guys enjoyed so far what you've seen. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure out my my style and you know what I like showing and whatnot. So again, any suggestions? I'm totally down. But um, yeah, anyways, enjoy the rest of my trip. Thursday. Just sitting here. Getting loaded. But to head back towards Ontario. Nothing special. Nothing new to really talk about. 
knock on wood, truck seems to be running fine. Um, but yeah, that's that. Oh, some guys walking by me. Makes me feel weird and awkward when somebody sees me doing this. But he did not look in the truck. He just continued walking by. But, uh, yeah, no, so. Basically just turn around and back. Gotta be back by Monday afternoon. Yeah, Monday. So. I'm gonna try to make Regina tonight. And then... Go from there, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Nothing real spe spectacular going on here. If anything comes up, I'll, uh... Man, I'm always picking my nose. I'm not, like, I'm just scratching it. Like, I'm not actually really up in there. So... But uh, anyways, yeah, that's uh, that's my thing, and um, I will uh, let you know how things go. Yeah. See you later. Same no result with self reception here from the last 
personal vehicle is a truck. It's a 2007 Ram 3500 diesel. So you get an idea of the size of it. Every time I get into it from driving this truck, I feel like I'm scraping my ass along the ground. Like it's like I'm going from like a normal sized vehicle to like a lower car. Like it feels so weird. Like I always laugh because my, my dad would or my stepdad would always say like every time he got out of his truck or whatever into like just a regular like my, his his grandma's on the board or whatever, and he'd always say that. Like it's felt like he was scraping his ass along the road because it was so low comparison. Oh, I feel like that driving my freaking big pickup truck, so I thought that was interesting. But other than that, yeah, um, should be back to the yard by Monday. Yeah, I got a delivery Monday morning, just outside of, well, near Owen, it's actually close to Owen Sound. Um, and then I gotta go get an oil change done on this truck. Take the rest of my load back to the other. But that's about it. Sorry I'm late getting this video up this week. Uh, wi Fi has been a bit of a concern for me. Um, but one thing I did want to touch on last night is how much other drivers. No offense to everyone, can be fucking assholes. Like, okay, so I drive a 16 Pro Star, 2016 Pro Star. And if you ever driven one of them, the headlights on them suck. You can't see shit. I purchased LEDs, like every other driver out there. Them just being on. I, then mind you, it's still hard to see because of the way the lid throws the light. Them just being on, I'll get drivers flashing me. But, here's the big but. The drivers that flash me are the same assholes that have the same fucking headlights. If you have LEDs and you see somebody coming at you and you have a, you're, you're not sure or whatever, don't fucking flash them. I stop flashing people. Because I can't tell, so I just try to look away. So, just don't be an asshole with them. Like, it's it's pretty simple. Duh. Like, I even bought, like, LED fog lights, but I bought yellow ones so that they weren't as bright in people's eyes just to try to cut down so that I could A, see, but also didn't piss off everybody else. And then on top of it, oh, this is a great one, too guy was passing me last night obviously I wasn't going fast enough for him even though I was doing much over, like over the speed limit like 95 or whatever in a 90 he so he passed me that's fine whatever so what I generally do is when somebody passes me especially driving another transport on a single lane highway I slow down so they can get by me quicker speaking of passing me I think somebody else is about to right now doing 95 again but anyways so this guy I started slowing down then we saw another truck coming so I sped back up so he could get in behind me well he flashes me in my fucking mirrors I'm like what the hell man what's the point point? and then so he finally gets his opening and I'm too busy making sure that he gets by that I left my high beams on and he flashes me with his freaking work light. And I'm like, how much of a piece of shit asshole do you have to be to be that, like, like, uh, like, he, he acts like he owns the road. And that pisses me off about a lot of truck drivers. And again, no offense to the ones who aren't like this, but the assholes who act like they own the road, who act like they're cops, who like take it upon themselves to try to enforce the law on other drivers. Don't fucking do that. You're not a cop. Don't be a dick. I've had situations where I was 
about to get off the highway, but it was before the off ramp and the, the, the highway was stopped. So I was, and I was taking my ex to work that day. And I was in my, obviously this was before I was a truck driver, long before. And um, so I was like, okay, well I know I'm not that far, so I'm gonna take the, the, the shoulder to get her to work on time. And you know, it was my responsibility if I got the ticket. Well, some fucking asshole truck driver blocks that to block us from passing him because, you know, he, he's the rule of law. And uh, I'm like, you know what? Like, first and foremost, it's my ticket, not yours, so fuck off. Secondly, if an ambulance were to come down there, he's blocking the fucking only way for them to get by. So, yeah. I may have been doing something that was a gray area. He was doing something that was completely illegal just to be an asshole. I ended up actually, I was driving a 4x4, so I threw it in a 4x4 and went around him in the ditch with my finger at the window. I would have knocked on his fucking door if uh, I wasn't in such a rush, but <clears throat> that's a different story for a different day. Anyways, rule of the uh, point I'm getting at is don't be a fucking prick on the highway. That's it. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, I just left Cochrane, Ontario, for my last last day of my run. But uh, yeah, sorry. I'm trying to stay as you know as entertaining as possible for you guys. Hopefully, you do like it. Um, anyways, enjoy.